Welcome back to our series on Gentech Security Center. Today, we're diving into the configuration phase after covering installation, licensing, and IP assignments in our previous video. In that episode, we installed Gentech Security Center, obtained licenses, and assigned IP addresses to the Synergis Cloud Link and the Mercury Intelligent Controller. Now, let's configure the Gentech Security Center to meet your specific security needs. We'll cover adding Synergis Cloud Link. Mercury Intelligent Controller, Reader Module, Access Readers, and other essential settings. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel, and hit the notification bell, so you won't miss any future updates or episodes. Let's begin configuring the Gentech Security Center, whether it's a small scale, or large enterprise solution. Run the server admin by simply clicking on its icon, located on the desktop. Once the server admin interface is open, proceed to login by entering your user credentials. As you can see, this time the directory service is up, and running smoothly. If you recall from my previous video, we encountered an issue where the directory service failed to run, due to a server name change. I'll show you on the screen the comparison between two screens, one displaying the running directory service, and the other showing the directory service not running. The problem arose because the machine name was modified after the installation of the Gentech Security Center. That's why I emphasized in the installation video the importance of making any necessary changes to the computer before installing the Gentech Security Center. Fortunately, everything is now functioning properly. Let's minimize this window and proceed to run the configuration tool by clicking on the icon from the desktop. Once the config tool is open, a login window will appear. In the directory field, enter the IP address of the main server. This is the computer where we installed the Gentech Security Center. In my case, it's the same computer, so let me enter the IP address of the computer. Once you enter the IP address, you will see a message saying Trusted Directory in green color, which means we are able to connect to the server. Next, enter the username as admin, for the first time login. You don't need to enter any password, just leave it blank, and then click on log on. It will take a moment to initialize the connection. Once the connection is established, the Security Center Installer Assistant Wizard will appear. Read the introduction, and click on Next. Then, enter the password for the admin user and click on Next. Skip the following steps, and click on Next. Again, continue skipping the subsequent steps, and click on Next. Read the summary, and click on Next. Finally, you will see a conclusion stating that your system is now ready to operate. Click on Close, to close the wizard. However, don't worry about the steps we skipped, we will configure them later in this video. Once you close the window, a new window will appear for unit enrollment. Click on Start Discovery to discover the Synergis Cloud Link devices on the network. If you have an HID Vertex controller, click on your unit not listed, and then click on Run Extension Search. It will take some time to discover the devices. Since I don't have an HID controller, I will click on Manual Add to add the Synergis Cloud Link manually. When you click on Manual Add, creating a unit window will appear. Under Unit Information, select Network Endpoint as Access Manager, and Unit Type as Synergis. Then, enter the host name, or IP address of the device. Enter the username, and password of the Synergis device. Make sure to change the default password, as units can't be enrolled using the default password. Let's log into the Synergis device. To do that, open any browser, and type the IP address of the device. Enter the user credentials, and then go to Configuration, then Users, and enter the old password. After that, enter the new password and confirm it. 
Once you enter the passwords, click on Save to change the settings. After the settings are changed, the device will log out automatically. Then, try to log in using the new password. As you can see, I am able to log in with the new user credentials. Let's minimize this window and enter the new password into the Config Tools device enrollment. Then, click on Next, and the creation process will start. Please wait until it's complete. Once it's completed, click on Close, and then close all other windows, and go back to the Tasks menu from the left side of the screen. Double-click on the Access Control option to access the configuration settings. Extend the Access Manager by clicking on it. Here, you will find the added Synergis Cloud device. Click on the device and change its name. After changing the name, click on Apply to save the settings. Once the changes are applied, you will see the updated name in the Access Manager. Now, go to the Peripherals section to add the Intelligent Controller, IC. To add the IC, click on the plus symbol at the bottom of the window. A new window will appear to add the IC. In the window, select the panel model number from the drop-down list. Then, enter the IP address of the IC. If you are unsure about how to configure the IP address for a Gentech Intelligent Control Panel, I have already uploaded a video on it. You can find the link to the video in the description. Select the channel number according to your IC configuration. Keep the port number as default, then click on OK to save it. Once you have added the hardware board, it will appear in the list. Wait for some time to allow the boards to come online. You will see the boards appear online on the screen. You can repeat these steps to add multiple ICs in the software. To further configure the IC, click on the arrow to expand its settings. Here, you will find all the inputs, outputs, and readers available on the physical hardware. Now, let's proceed to add downstream panels, also known as reader modules. Double click on the IC to open the IC adding window. In the IC adding window, click on the plus symbol at the bottom of the window. A new window will appear. From the drop down list, Select the module of the reader board. Enter the physical address of the panel and click OK. Once you click OK, the reader board will appear under the IC panel, as shown on my screen. Wait for some time to allow the reader board to come online. As you can see, all the boards are now online. You can add up to 32 reader boards under one IC panel. You can extend the reader module by clicking on the arrow and find the hardware devices available on the module. Now, let's assign the readers, inputs, and outputs to the added reader module. Go to the home page and click on Area View. Click on Add an Entity and select the area. Enter a name for the area, for example, Ground Floor. Select the added area and go back to add an entity. This time, select door. A door window will appear. In the basic information section of the door window, enter the door name according to your project requirements. Provide a description for the door if necessary. Select the area. By default, ground floor will be selected since we previously added the door to that area. If you have multiple areas, you can select the desired area from the drop down list. Click on Next. Under the Door Information section, keep the Alpha Door side and Omega Door side settings as default. For the Access Control Unit, select Synergis Cloud from the drop down list. Select the Reader Module as Interface Module. Then choose the Door Template. Select the Door Type as Open Card In, Card Out. If you have a door, where both entry and exit have readers. Alternatively, choose the appropriate option based on your installation requirements. Once you have set the options, click on Next. 
Review the summary of the settings, and click on Next. If the settings are correct, you will see a message stating that the operation was successful, under Entity Creation Outcome. Click on Close to complete the process. After clicking on Close, you need to click on Apply, to apply the settings to the boards. Now, you have created the door, and you will see the complete hardware setup on the screen, showing which panel the door belongs to, and the assigned inputs and outputs. Keep in mind that although we haven't assigned any access cards, or users to this specific door, the push button input will still work. Let me bring the hardware setup on the screen and test the input 2, which is assigned for the request to exit. As you can see, the configuration is completed, and the input is activated. Confirming that it is functioning properly. I hope you have understood the complete setup. At this point, you should be able to configure the system, and start the commissioning process using the readers, inputs, and outputs. In the next video, we will explore how to create access levels, add users, cards, and cover other related topics necessary for testing and commissioning the system. Please note that Gentech Security Center offers multiple advanced configurations, that we will cover in upcoming videos. Thank you for joining me in this video tutorial on configuring your access control system using Gentech Security Center. Till now we covered a lot of topics in our playlist, starting from the basics of downloading, installing, and licensing the software. We also learned how to assign IPs to hardware devices such as the Synergis Cloud Link, an intelligent controller, and successfully integrated them into the system's database. Remember, this video is part of a comprehensive playlist that covers the entire setup and configuration journey. You can find all the previous videos in the playlist, and make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on future videos. In upcoming tutorials, we will dive deeper into advanced configurations and explore additional features available within Gentech Security Center. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Your feedback is highly appreciated, as it helps me improve the content and cater to your specific needs. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as we continue our exploration of access control system configuration with Gentech Security Center. Stay connected, stay secure.